Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode two of Dance Dance Sisters. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh. Yeah, you're going on a date, basically. <laughs> I see me sleep. Poor Jupe. Well, yes, that is true. Yeah, you feel out of place, don't you? I mean, like you said, you are here wearing t-shirts and jeans and everyone else is all dressed up.
It's gorgeous, isn't it? Wait, where are you going? But even someone as cute as her can play an evil character. Are, are you gonna lift her? What? There you go. We really just zoomed in on his feet for a good minute. What the hell?
Okay, it's the middle of the night. They're probably asleep. Oh. Is that low? Oh, it is! Oh! <laughs> oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, hormones. <laughs> Basically your rival, baby. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm, yeah, close. See that? That's passion! <laughs> the fact that he works with him like, I can't! No!
Just because you're the princess, I mean you're better, Junpei. Stop trying to <laughs> stroke your ego. <laughs> He's so pretty. Maybe. Exactly. So don't be so hard on yourself. get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lo is, he's shy. Cute, but shy. Polar opposite to freaking like <laughs> Miyamura, <laughs> Miyamura and Horimiya. <laughs> well, no, his, yeah, he was shy too in that, but it was cute. He's just acting like his emo self. Yeah, it's just Roxas. Well, really, eh, it's Ben and Roxas. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Seriously? You're really serious about this.
That was gorgeous. I mean, even though it was a little bit good. Probably the reason why. Okay, okay, okay. He, she, the deal. That has to be the deal that she made with him. You go to school, but you also train Junpei. Maybe. I'm not sure. We're going to know until we go deeper and deeper into it. Okay. Wait, one second. Low. Uh, he's cute. Fucking cute. So adorable and such. I mean, because I think it's just because <laughs> I have a crush on his thank you. <laughs> So anything that he's in except the one series that I can I've watched with him, aka my hero. Like, of course, I don't have I don't have a crush on Shigaraki like that. But, but if we want to talk about like Kingdom Hearts and some ish, and when he played Roxas and Ventus, of course, because precious babies, and I love them both. But oh, I'm ready to see how these two because technically, when you're looking at this and when you hear both, um. Of these two seiyus from the My Hero series, you're just like, okay, this is just Shigaraki and Deku going off on each other every single week, which I'm not mad at, but it's going to be very similar, like I said last week, to Welcome to the Ballroom, because in Welcome to the Ballroom, it was um, the seiyus of Uraraka and Bakugo in that show, and how those two were partners in their ish, and how, like... They were greater than um, the freaking kid and Welcome to the Ballroom. So we're going to have moments with them where they're going to argue back and forth. I have no problem with that. Hell, am I even getting to a fist fight? How we were close in this episode. But I think because... Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. God, this series is so good. It's only episode two. Okay, we're, we're going to see them really fight, fight. I mean, even to a point where, like, Junpei was very close to punching Lo, and he kind of, you know, defended himself so that he wouldn't get hit. I feel like we're going to get another moment where he gets, like, very, very close. But I feel like this is just the start of a beautiful friendship with these two. Like, I feel like when we get to the end of this series, or maybe even the halfway point of this show, um... That's essentially where they're going to start getting along. They're going to look back and like, remember when we used to fight? <laughs> and it's just going to be fucking hilarious. But honestly, I feel like when Junpei officially sees um, Leo dance more, as from this preview right here, he's crying, he's going to feel more inspired. And he's going to want to do more, be more, be better but they're rivals. They're still going to bring each other up, but they're going to be going against each other every single time. So it's going to sometimes be, and this is kind of how Junpei thinks, especially with like his body language and his demeanor, he's going to be, for the entirety of the series, trying to one-up Leo. While Leo was just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but if, he, if Junpei messes up, Leo or Miyako or Miyako's mom are there to help him with the, blah, blah, with the pieces. Now that the fact that, you know, Junpei is doing soccer, ballet, and now his friend wants to start a band, he's in a lot of things. So I feel like that's going to come, you know, back on him. Plus to the fact that he's also doing the, um, the professional stuntman. So that's four things. And I feel like there's going to be a point where they're all going to collide. Technically, in a way, we already have that with the ballet recital part thing for um, that's coming up and plus his soccer match. So there's going to be a point in time where he's going to have to choose to quit something. And of course, he is going to have to choose soccer because his love for ballet is continuing inside of him. And so by maybe, I say like two or three weeks from now, he it's going to be one of the saddest things that he's going to have to do. But he's like, you know, this is what I wanted to do. And this is what I think is going to make me a man. Because there is no right or wrong way of being a masculine slash feminine man. He just wants to do it in his own special way. 
and such. I don't know how it's going to go, but of course, it's going to be good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Dance Dance Disser. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode three. Bye, guys.